Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, shapes, sizes, and colors, we are back to start off the new year. Happy 2021. Listen, we are jumping into devlog number six to start off this new year. And this week is actually going to be a busy week. We have this devlog coming out and probably two more to follow before the end of the week. So make sure you stay tuned for those ones. But today... We have some very, very exciting updates to go over for Doc's Deathmatch. Now, none of these updates are live. None of what we're talking about is actually live in the game right now. Because like I said, we have a lot to go over this week in devlogs before we actually push the update for this game. So, this update is staring at us right in the face here. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Now, as you guys can see, I moved the camera a little bit so we can actually see all 25 of these gun skins at once because that's the first part of the massive update coming to Doc's Deathmatch to start off the year. As you guys can see, we have our first AR right up here at the top of the screen. This is the weapon that pretty much everyone has been playing with. I have updated it a few times, small little adjustments here and there as we've gone through the game at the end of 2020, but this is the standard rifle that everyone starts with. After that is the same exact rifle. All of these weapons are exactly the same, except cosmetically, right? So same rifle, same shooting mechanics, same reload, same ammo size, all like all of that stuff is exactly the same in all 26 of these weapons that you can see here. But, as we go ahead and jump into it, we've got some super fun art to jump into with each one of these guns. So, the first few here are pretty simple, just kind of color reskins, right? We hit the white, the blue, the red, but as you guys can see, not all of them are quite that simple. And I want to jump into every single one of the skins here in this video today, and the easiest way to do that is to actually show you guys a new preview of the game. Here's where things really start to get exciting. And before I jump any further than what we're looking at right here, I've got to give a shout out to my man and search yourself. All right. Core is an awesome community because it's very collaborative. It's easy to work with other creators. It's easy to get, you know, get opinions from the players in the community. It's it's great all around from an artistic standpoint right up until four or five months ago i had never touched game creating game artwork game design in any way at all and you guys have seen what we've been able to do just in that short time right but this uh this this system here the coding for this system again i i owe a huge shout out to insert yourself for this um he he is a core legend in my books from the jump here and um Basically, what we have set up now is a storefront inside of the game that players can access right here, right? You're looking at it. This is it. And we start off with just the basic rifle, the one that everybody knows, right here at level one, right? Now, if you guys remember, I believe this was actually back in like devlog number two or number three. We implemented this leveling system, right? The, the number for the level is actually up here at the top now. This bar shows, you know, your progression till the next level. And that light blue number is your current level. Obviously, we're in preview mode right now, so I'm only level one. And therefore, I can't equip the guns that we move through here. But it's as easy as just pressing equip. And your player will then have that weapon, right? When you come back to the game at a different session at a later time, you should still have the same weapon equipped that you had equipped too. So it's kind of a cool little feature that we spent some time adding in there. But without further ado, it's time to click through all of these weapons here, check them out. Uh, some of them are simple. Some of them have some cooler art, some cooler designs to them. And as you'll see, they will take a lot more work to unlock. So. The whole progression here was kind of to start off with some basic ones, right? So level one, we get the base rifle. Level five, the same rifle, just in all white, right? Again, I can, I'm only level one right here in preview mode, so I can't equip this, but we go from the white to the blue to the red, simple reskins, all with color there, and, and just the animated glowing 
inside changes to the same color as the weapon as well, right? But after those, after we get past level 10, level 12, we get, we get the Toxis and the Amethyst skins here, which I wanted to go pink and green. I feel like those are like good initial colors for skins too, but I didn't want them to be straight up. So we used Amethyst, this really cool stone material, and then this, this green bubbling gel. I thought just looked perfect right out of the box as like a toxic sort of skin, right? But moving on, we go to Rusted Metal, then to a smooth chrome, which is actually the same as our original skin. Just instead of being black, this one's white. And again, it doesn't bring out white, it brings out the silver through that chrome. So I, I really liked this one. And then we go from chrome, instead of to through bronze and silver, we just went straight to gold one. And that's this one right here. This is a nice smooth gold material. And we have we have more gold in the future, which you guys will see. This one's pretty clean, pretty basic. There's not really too much too much to look at in terms of these metal ones here beyond just their colors. After this though, I started to play around with some some of these weird materials that we have on core. Obsidian, this is one that I really liked. I was able to bring the fractures out a little bit more, get a little bit more texture out of this gun here. The warm glass and the cool glass are actually inverted skins from one another. If you look really closely, you'll be able to see some slight color changes through the barrel, through through actually all of the gun, but it's easiest to see through the barrel right here. So warm glass is just gonna change between kind of this yellow, orange, a little bit of red on the edges, and then cool glass is gonna be the exact opposite. So different blues, and I think just a touch of green in there too at the oddest times. After that though, skulls, one of my absolute favorites, right? This is just one of the skins that I always like in video games. You, you land me in any shooting game ever, give me a, a kill goal to reach a gun skin with skulls all over it, and I'm in. I will play that game at least until I get to that point. So this is one that I wanted to be pretty achievable, not at, not at a super far away level, right? Level 25, kind of right, right in the middle here is, is about where we're getting with these skins here at level 25. Then we go to 30. Once we get to 30 and above, we're gonna start to see lots more animation in these skins here. This one, just a cool tech panel. And this one I think is just a little bit cooler actually. So tech one and tech two here, these are two, two skins that I like a lot, but they don't break into my top five list by any means. Number 35, however, Level 35, Burning Wood, this weapon right here absolutely breaks into my top five, okay? This one, maybe even top three for me. This one's up there. One of my favorite textures in core, period. Across the board, one of the best. Um, I, I can't wait to see players running around with this gun, too, because in the kill feed of the game, it should say, like, let's say, let's say you eliminate me in a round, right? If you eliminate me in a round of Doc's deathmatch, it should say that you killed Doc B Design with burning wood. That's how it should actually read in the kill feed. So I'm excited for players to unlock this one just to see if that little bit works exactly the way I think it's going to. I think it'll it'll create a nice little laugh. But we also have some other fun artistic skins up next here in the next few levels. Stained glass, again, just a beautiful beautiful texture here on core that i love treasure one again how, how do you beat that how do you beat that right look at that it's, it's just beautiful just beautiful just the right amount green red blue gems right some emerald sapphires and rubies popping through that gold i love it um this this weapon skin will also tie into our next devlog video very well which is gonna be our second map. I'll let you guys know that right now. A little sneak peek, second map coming our way, right? But jumping through more of these skins. Fluid, this is one that it really doesn't make sense. Okay, I know that. It looks funky, but when you actually understand the mechanics of what's going on here, it's again, the same AR skin from the very start, 
just filled with this fluid material. This one, I thought just looked kind of funny, right? It looks weird, it looks funny, it looks interesting, and uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like when players are actually looking down the sights with it. I think since this kind of diminishes, players might actually get a better field of view through this gun, which will be interesting. Might be a little advantage built into that weapon there. Gold 2 and Gold 3 are really the same weapon here as Gold 1, except one has a skull on the front, and then Gold 3 obviously has the animation added. A little fire breathing, little speckles, little little sparkle dust coming off the gun, right? Uh, the fire does no damage. It's this is not a flamethrower weapon now, right? It's the same AR, just... I had a little bit of fun with adding just a touch more 3D art and a touch of animation to these as well. Now, the last few here as we get into level 60 and beyond, these ones, I think personally, are, are the coolest ones across the board. And that's why they're harder to get to. Now, these, these are all in white color as well right hexagon one we can see is kind of this this pixelating tiling hologram material right but again in white so we have a lot of color possibilities that can actually come out of these last few skins these are just the first ones so check it out at level 60 hexagon one at level 60 you also get hollow gun one which is actually a true more of more of a hologram ma material i think as opposed to this one that, that sort of pixelates these tiles on and off. And then it's 65. This one, I, I've i tried to get away from it, but this is my favorite. I'm just, I'm going to say it. The bubble gun, which I have titled A Bubble. Again, when you kill someone with this weapon, it should say something along the lines of Doc B Design killed Ham with a bubble. That's how it should read in the kill feed, which, again, I'm, I'm hoping that gets a, a nice little chuckle, a nice little smile out of the players that actually make it to some of these skins that have that built in. But uh, this is one of my favorite materials on Core 2. Really organic, really weird, and when we're zoomed out looking at all of the skins at once, again, no one notices this one, right? It's kind of low-key. It's, it's, you, really, you don't really see what's actually happening from a distance. But up close, we have this beautiful, beautiful bubble material that just ebbs and flows just, just enough to have a perfectly realistic bubble gun, and I love it. 65 here, Plasmos. Again, one of my absolute favorite materials from Core. This is the double-sided plasma material. I skinned it with blue and a little bit of purple inside just to get that depth around the edges. This is one, though, I think I'll bring out a ton more colors for this skin here. It's really a fun one, and I can't wait to build some more 3D skins built around this idea, too. Um, now, the very last skin was actually... It was not designed to be the last skin, but it's the Angel. And the Angel, this is, this is a special weapon. This is the special weapon. I think this is actually the weapon that will kind of break the game in some sort of ways, because... This is the wireframe material, and the wireframe material lights up super, super, super bright to the point where I actually think this gun is going to have somewhat of a stun or a flash grenade effect built into it. It's going to be so bright for the players looking at it that I think the wielder is going to have a little bit of an advantage built in in terms of a blinding effect. We'll see how this gun plays. I may need to come in and adjust it after seeing some gameplay and experiencing some gameplay, but hopefully this is one that's really fun um, and enjoyable once players are able to get to it. That wraps up the first 25 skins here going into the game, right? So as, as we're back here on, on the outer wall, looking at the entire set of guns, um, I think it's important. A couple notes here, right? These are not all of the guns that are going to be in the game. These are not all of the skins that are going to be in the game even, right? And those are two separate, distinct statements that I just made there, right? One, if you're wondering, how did I make all these skins? Um, you know, what's going on? How, if, if you want to work something like this into your own game, don't worry. I'm going to make videos. 
I'm going to be doing this on stream. First of all, if you want to see that live, make sure to follow me on Twitch. Make sure to check those videos out. But again, I will be adding probably another 25 skins or so. Um, I, like, honestly, in, before the next month. So if you want to see more of this, I'll be sure to do some more behind-the-scenes videos when I'm actually building them out. Um, or if you'd, if you'd like to give some input on a special sort of skin that you'd like to see in there. Again, streams, great place to suggest stuff like that, or drop a comment right here on this video. Maybe, just maybe, your skin idea will make it into our game, right? Um, but this leveling system that we implemented so long ago is, is really what opened us up to have all of these weapon skins, right? As you level up, as you get kills and you win games, you level up faster and you're able to unlock all of these weapon skins, right? That's the skins. Now, the other part of the game is adding different weapons, as in a sniper, a shotgun, an SMG, something like that, right? The way that this shop is built in is now we can actually add new guns into the mix as well. And we could have it where maybe once you reach a player level of 20, you start to unlock different SMGs and skins for those, right? Then maybe once you reach player level 30, you unlock a sniper rifle or a shotgun, so on and so forth. That's something, again, that I want to test that. I want to make sure the weapons feel right. And that they feel balanced, especially in one-on-one -on -one fights, because the game is only three-on-three. -three. So the one-on-one -on -one experience really just gets tripled, and it doesn't really get amplified beyond that in this game. So we have to make sure that combat feels balanced when we add those new weapons in, but that is something that's definitely on the way as well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is actually going to wrap us up here today for devlog number six. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the video if you enjoyed it. And keep your eyes peeled because we have another devlog video coming out about a day or two right behind this one. So you don't want to miss it. More updates coming to the game. Again, all in our first update of the year here. I appreciate you guys watching. I cannot wait to see you out in the game this year. It's Doc B. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.